You guys, what is going on? Uh, I know I've been away from the channel for a while and for good reason. You know, I've been talking for a year and a half now on uh, looking for a place for the shop and everything. And about a month or so ago, this one popped up. And so we jumped on the house, the property, and uh, this is what we've got coming into 2019. I know you've seen me kind of hint around at it, so throw up some pictures, little some new equipment and everything. But um, this is the Solitude Customs new shop. It is a 30 by 40 shop with a 15 by 30 front overhang and then this 12 by probably 65 um, not 55 carport on the side here all attached gutter milding um, metal with um, wood post so let me give you a little tour of it i mean this is first of all we want to thank y'all for subscribing for watching for commenting for asking questions everything else and you know what i was in was it just a two bay uh, two car garage is something very basic and I definitely needed more room and this is definitely fitting the bill like I said 30 by 40 overhangs over here for the uh, I'm gonna put the 18 foot car hauler behind here the 14 foot trailer in the front and um, there's gonna be lighting all down the way here lighting is gonna be kind of the first step uh, I want to accomplish and have some uh, lighting up in the front here and then as you walk in through that door, there's a hose bib over there to start uh, power washing. It is on its own meter, so I can, I'll have any power I want to in here. There is two 10 by 10 roll-up doors all the way through, front and back. The only thing that was in here was the, uh, the shelves and the workbenches. Everything else was brought in. And believe it or not, most of this stuff, not even all this stuff, was everything I pretty well had in the old shop that you guys have seen time and time again. The only thing that's not over here are the workbenches, or the, um, the toolboxes pretty much. And that's going to actually go over there next to this workbench. Um, got the, my son's little Raptor 90, the X2, the Razor, little Sportsman 90 back there. I also have a, the first Badger that I built needs to come over here. So I've definitely, as you can see, got plenty of room for everything. I, um, this is not going to, you know, have to, I'm not going to have to turn down jobs anymore. I'm not going to have to wait on jobs anymore because I didn't have a place to store them. Now I got a place to store them, a place to work on them, everything else. So about the shop too, I should say it's wood frame. It is insulated a little bit on the top. Insulation on the walls will probably come later on. Um, I've got extension outlets for along the back of the wall here. Each under shelf is going to get a four foot LED under lighting for there. Just over here, I got a hose reel. I mean, more shelves that I picked up. All the motor parts from the old shop. Just, I'm trying to fill it up. Here's some of the, like, the security lights and everything. So, I mean, I'll get a video on like all these little things. Um, got a whole torch set here that I can finally set up now. My cutoff wheel, ultrasonic cleaners back. Right here is going to be a sink. There's already plumbed for a sink here. So, set up. Um, Two welders. I had a 220 Lincoln that I couldn't run at the old house because I didn't have 220. So I got that one, the Harbor Freight one. Meter comes off of there, testing out this 220 for, um, it's kind of the big thing. I know I always wanted a big air compressor in the shop. So ran across this one, pretty much the biggest one I could find. It is not going to slow down at all. Um, it's an 80 gallon, 175 max PSI. What is the uh, CFM? 15 and 17 CFM at 170 and 90. Big old air compressor. Things run good. I just got to, I'm going to freshen it up. Now I have room to actually do all my soda blasting. I got a little soda blaster set up there that, I mean, my parts are going to be cleaner. Uh, I, the, the parts washer isn't over here yet, but it's going to be. What else? I'm going to do some more lighting for you guys. Because in here, I mean, these lights aren't bad, but I want to go all LED and more lighting. Uh, videos make for, good, good lighting makes good for good videos. So there's going to be a four footer there in the middle and down there along with all the under shelf one. That's pretty much it for now. Like I said, you can drive up and through both sides. There's nothing behind me anymore. Another trailer over here on this side. And nothing to the side. That's just a business that's only open, you know, for someone to go in, check something out, and leave. Woods right here, so sound is not going to be an issue now. I can actually start things up for you more now. I can ride it around, I can test drive them. Uh, you'll be able to see me, or you'll be able to just see the outcome of the things that are done more. You know, for sound exhaust clips, I couldn't really do it because I had neighbors on both sides of me. Um, I, I 
couldn't really do anything loud at night or really get into it. So the content I'm, I'm really hoping, and that's what we're working for, is to be able to bring out better content, uh, more all around content, not just focusing on one little spot and then going from there. But um, we are very excited, like I said. Uh, there's gonna be a whole shop build series on everything. And um, just thank y'all very much for 2018. A uh, lot has jumped up and it, like I said, we, we appreciate it all and hope y'all are as excited as we are about this place. I mean, it's a dream come true and it's just going to be lots of fun times. So if you guys have any comments or questions or ideas for this shop, let me know. Cause I mean, it's going to, I, I'm still at a loss. Like I said, everything that's in my old shop is here now. So I'm kind of, I don't I don't even know what to, to, to do or start. Just kind of keep walking around and hopefully something will come to me. Um, but yeah, definitely comment down below. Like, subscribe, please. And thank you all very much.